CBS, The Young and the Restless Spoilers. Nate is annoyed that his life is being controlled like a child. He wants to be free, but never gets that wish because he's doing the wrong thing and becoming a hater. Devin wants Nate to marry Elena and have a happy life. But what Devin sees is not being able to make others do what he likes, calm down and listen to Nate. Will he still be love Elena or not? Lily has no patience for an environment like Chancellor Winters, which is the company she works so hard to build, yet it is a collection of underdogs holding important positions like Arnate, Imani, and even Billy. They don't have the spirit of de dedication and just want to show their ego. Devin wants Lily to stop. She should give him more time to deal with it. After all, everyone is part of the same family. There's no need to be so stressed out. Devin will teach his family members how to be a kid. kind. Nate teases Devin and Lily that they live like machines without emotions and always want others to do as you please, so you shouldn't live doing anything. That provocation angered Devin. Nate and Imani have made their own decision. They will leave their goddamn company and start a new life. He will ask Elena's permission to make for making suffer, but a life without love will make each other tired, leaving each other as soon as possible. Imani is pregnant, she just found out. It's the result of more than two months of their secret love. Nate is proud to be a father. They will get married. They want everyone to bless them. Even though Nate made a mistake, he dares to face it to protect the woman he loves, Imani. And he is also ready to take any punishment. Criticism comes from Elena. He doesn't want to make her suffer. That is the bravery of a real man. Will Imani and Nate be happy together? That's a piece of information that I really want to know.